Let us now take the 10th model from this topic of permutations and combinations where we shall discuss some typical questions based on combinations. The first example here is in how many ways can a person choose one or more out of five different subject books. So as you can see the word choose clearly indicates that this is a combination case. Why? Because choose is nothing but selection and selection is combination. So here we need to use the concept of combinations that is NCR in finding out the answer. Now the question says in how many ways can a person choose one or more out of five different subject books. So there are five different books here. Let us take them as B1, B2, B3, B4 and B5. So these are the five different books that we have. And in how many ways can we choose one or more out of these five different books. So one or more means it can be one book or two books or three books or four books or five books. So there are five different cases here. Now going by the first one, in how many ways can a person choose one book? There are five books, person has to select one. It can be done in five C one ways or he can select two books or means plus. So we need to take plus here and two books can be selected in five C two ways or he can select three books. So plus five C three ways or he can select four books. So plus 5C 4 ways or he can select all the 5 books. So plus 5C 5. So this is the answer for the question here. The question says in how many ways can a person choose one or more? One or more means it can be 1, 2, 3, 4 or 5. Why? Because maximum there are 5 books here. So one book can be selected in 5C 1, 2 books in 5C 2, 3 books in 5C 3, 4 books in 5C 4 and 5 books in 5C 5 ways. So by adding all these we get the required answer. Now 5C 1 is equal to 5. 5C2 is 10, 5C3 will again be equal to 10, 5C4 is nothing but 5C1 which is 5 and 5C5 we know is equal to 1. Why? Because NCR is equal to 1 when R is equal to N. So this is equal to 1. So totally we get 5 plus 10, 15 plus 10, 25 plus 5, 30 plus 1, 31 ways. That means there are 31 ways in which a student can select one or more out of 5 different subject books. Apart from this way of solving the question, the other method in which we can get the answer is as follows. Now if you try to observe, a person has to choose one or more out of five different subject books. Let us first try to understand what can a student do with each of these books. Now as you can see here, there are two possibilities. He can either take the book or he can leave the book. That means he can either select the book or he can leave the book. Let's say when he approaches book number one, there are two things which can be done. Either select the book or reject the book. So there are two things which can be done with book number one. Likewise, book number two, either he can take it or he can leave it. So there are two choices. Book number three, take or leave. Again, two choices. Likewise, for book four and book five, there are two choices each. That means in every book here, either he can select it or reject it. That means either he can take it or leave it. Now, altogether, you find that there are total two into two into two into two into two ways. That is nothing but two power five ways. That is equal to 32 ways. That means there are total 32 ways in which books can be selected out of five different subject books. But remember friends, out of these 32 ways, there will be one way in which all the books get rejected. For example, book number one is not selected, book two is not selected, three, four, five are also not selected. That means out of these total 32 ways, there will be one particular way in which all the books are rejected. And in the remaining 31 ways, at least one gets selected. We know that one or more is nothing but at least one. So what we can do here is total number of ways that can be done with these five books is 32 ways. Out of these 32 ways, if we subtract the one where all the books get rejected, we get the required answer. So we can say that the answer here will be 32 minus 1 that is equal to 31 ways. That's what we have got here. Either you take it as 5C1 plus 5C2 plus 5C3 plus 5C4 plus 5C5 or it can be directly taken as 2 power 5 minus 1. 2 power 5 because there are five different subject books and with each book two actions can be done either take it or leave it. But when we take 2 power 5 in this 2 power 5 ways one way says all the books get rejected. So we need to subtract that why because question says one or more at least one book has to be there. So that is the reason we subtract one that is the way in which no book gets selected and we get the answer as 31. Let us now take the second example from model 10. The question says in a party there are 15 persons and every person shakes hand with every other person. So what will be the total number of handshakes? So here we find that there are total 15 persons and each of these 15 persons shakes hand with every other person present. So what will be the total number of handshakes in the party here? 
Now, if you really look at it, this is again a case of combination. Why? Because for one handshake, we need to select two persons. So indirectly, the question which says what will be the total number of handshakes can be understood as what are the number of ways in which two persons can be selected out of 15 persons. Why? Because one selection of two persons will give us one handshake. So instead of finding out the total number of handshakes, we can consider it as the number of ways in which two persons can be selected out of 15 persons. And every such selection will give us one handshake. So we can say that the answer here is nothing but 15 C2. 15 C2 is 15 factorial divided by 15 minus 2. 13 factorial into 2 factorial. So this comes out to be 15 into 14 divided by 2. Why? Because 13 factorial and 13 factorial gets cancelled. And 2 factorial is 2 here. So 2 gets cancelled 7 times here. 15 into 7 that is equal to 105. So we can say that there will be total 105 handshakes in this party. So simply we need to consider those many ways in which two persons can be selected out of 15 persons. Now like this example a similar question can be asked in terms of the number of matches that will be played between the given number of teams. For example let's say that eight teams are participating in a world championship where every team plays a match with every other team. So how many matches will be played? Now here again if you see the question is about selecting two teams out of the given eight teams. Why? Well, because one match will be played in between two teams. So instead of finding out the number of matches we can simply say that this is a case where we have to find out in how many ways can two teams be selected out of eight teams. And every such selection of two teams out of eight teams will result in one match. So the simple answer there can be taken as 8C2. There are total eight teams. How many matches will be played? where every team plays a match with every other team. So we can say that the answer is HC2 and HC2 can be taken as 8 into 7 by 2. This comes out to be 4 into 7 that is nothing but 28. So we can say there will be total 28 league matches in this world championship. So these are some of the cases which are indirectly based on combinations. The number of handshakes in a party where there are some number of persons. So that is nothing but selection of two persons out of the given number of persons where every selection results in a handshake and number of matches that will be played for the given number of teams. Now for one match to be played we need to select two teams. So that is again selection of two teams out of the given number of teams. So we simply have to decide whether the given question is based on permutations or combinations and then apply the proper formula that is NPR or NCR to get the required answer. Let us now take another interesting example from this model 10. The question says how many parallelograms can be formed by a set of five parallel lines intersecting another set of eight parallel lines. So here we need to find out the number of parallelograms. And the question says there are five parallel lines intersecting another set of eight parallel lines. So if you try to understand there are five parallel lines. Let's say the five parallel lines are as shown. Right? They are extending up to infinity. These are not line segments but lines. So they go up to infinity. These five parallel lines here are intersecting another set of eight parallel lines. So they are intersecting a set of eight parallel lines. Let's assume the remaining eight parallel lines are as shown. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 and 8. And the question says how many parallelograms can be formed with this set? Set of five parallel lines intersecting another set of eight parallel lines. Now we know that a parallelogram is a quadrilateral where the opposite sides are parallel to each other. For example, these two sides are parallel to each other and again the remaining two sides are parallel to each other. The opposite sides are parallel to each other. So any quadrilateral that can be formed by two parallel lines intersecting another two parallel lines will result in a parallelogram. Now here we see that there are five parallel lines intersecting another set of eight parallel lines. Now here number of parallelograms can be seen. This is a parallelogram. Then again this is a parallelogram, this it's a complete is a parallelogram, this complete figure again is a parallelogram. So we need to find out all those parallelograms that can be formed with these lines there. Now as we know that to form a parallelogram we need to have two parallel lines intersecting other two parallel lines. Now here we have five lines in one way and then eight lines. These are the eight lines. Now to form a parallelogram we need to select two lines out of these five lines and two more lines out of the remaining eight lines. So any two lines out of these five and any two lines out of these eight parallel lines will result in a parallelogram. So we can say that the number of parallelograms that can be formed here will be equal to 5C2 into 8C2. 
that is selection of two lines out of these five parallel lines and selection of two lines out of the given eight parallel lines and we are going for multiplication because of the principle of multiplication we are doing both the actions together so hence we need to multiply these two so 5c2 into 8c2 will give us the number of parallelograms now 5c2 is nothing but 5 into 4 divided by 2 whereas 8c2 is 8 into 7 divided by 2 that is nothing but ncr n factorial by n minus r factorial into r factorial so this is what it results in now 2 into 2 gets cancelled with 4 here so the final answer will be 5 into 8 into 7 8 into 7 is 56 56 into 5 is 280 so we can say that total there will be 280 parallelograms that can be formed with a set of 5 parallel lines intersecting another set of 8 parallel lines so these are some of the typical questions that are based on combinations. So that's all from permutations and combinations. Practice well on these questions. It's all about deciding whether the given question is based on permutations, that is arrangement or combinations, which is selection. Once we properly decide and then follow the condition given in the question, we can easily get the required answer. See you in the next session. Thank you.